Hello everyone, my name is Laurie. I'm Renee. And this is another edition of Soap Discussions. And this time we're going to be focusing on the bold and the beautiful. And we're going to give you some recaps and some spoilers. Now, for the past few days, we have seen RJ and Coco. Um, Wasn't RJ supposed to be in school? How in the I world so. did he get in charge of the internship for the Forrester creation? Maybe they had in advanced him to be a senior. Mm-hmm. And then part of his time of being a senior, since he has so many credits, mm-hmm. is for him to find a job in the community. But since his <laughs> his family has a business, mm-hmm. they figured they put him in that. No, I don't get it. I mean, wouldn't I it think be that was plausible though? No, you know? I think that's where you leave it to um, Steffi, Rick, and Ridge, because they are more of a closer to the senior of uh, uh, on in the company. But they're trying to give him a story. Um, it's not working. But the thing is, um, they're moving it where Coco and. RJ are starting to fall for each other. Well, we could see that coming. But the thing is, what I didn't understand with Ridge the other day, he sat there and said, all the Spectras are pretty much, un- uh, uh, you know, no good. They do all this stuff. But did not Ridge forget that there was Macy and mm-hmm. CJ? Yeah, they're um, already up and up. Yes. So, why didn't he exclude them out? Because he's a rigid, he's a fool. I know, and he's always right, right? He's not right. So, this is just my thought. I think they're going to try to make RJ and Coco the next Macy and Thorn. It's possible. Yes. I mean, it, it's all the signs are there. I, I just, I can understand some of the similarities, but I just, like we were discussing earlier, would prefer to see some things a little different. Yeah. Not everything has to be a complete copy of how it was in the past. Well, unfortunately, that's how they're doing it. It's back, it's like net and net. Where they was going with, you know, Sally Jr., you know, having her own thoughts and fashion and stuff, mm-hmm. which was good. Yeah. Finally, the Spectras are getting their own instead of have to steal mm-hmm. but then they had to have Bill Spencer conniving and stuff and get that uh, uh, that man to go and mm-hmm. write a bad review now why all for a building When's that this? he doesn't need I'm sure yes and and and, and I never seen any lines on uh, for the soaps where Bill Spencer needed this particular building exactly and it's just beyond unbelief. Mm. So he goes and do this. Now, there the spectrists have to write, you know, go and do stealing a fashion through Coco with this camera into this necklace. That she knows nothing about. There you go. But you know what's going to happen as time goes on. Mm-hmm. She gets caught. She doesn't know. They don't believe her. Mm-hmm. And then it's just going to be terrible all the yes. way around. You know, and then she's going to eventually find out, you know, and then she's going to be mad with her sister and her grandma and everybody for setting her up for something that she didn't know nothing about. Then she comes over to Forrester and tries to be CEO. (laughs) (laughs) Indeed. I'm glad that story is finally put to sleep. Mm, mm, No. Mm -hmm. Now, my thing is, when are they going to put closure to Quinn and Ridge? I am so sick. Of them longing, looking, dagger eyes all the time. I wish they hadn't even taken it in that direction. I, I loved her with, uh, yeah, with her. They could have found something else for her to do besides yes. slopping down. Rich. She could have had a, a family member coming from nowhere, a, a sister or an aunt or somebody. Couldn't they have written Amber as yeah. being a relation to her? That's true. You know, and 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 the mother that she was talking to Ridge about when she was in San Francisco, yeah. how come they couldn't have bring the mother, and she could have created all kinds of habit? That could have been an option. I would have thought that would have been a better option than peeling her, uh, you know, Quinn and Eric apart. Mm-hmm. And, and and it would have given more dimension, That's true. more storyline. And where's Wyatt? 
He's been like really missing in action. Wasn't he supposed to be on the Spectra team? Not yet. But he was talking with Sally, right? Sally Jr. Wasn't no, he talking no. To it's is 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 um what's his name? Uh Rick. Oh. I, I mean no Thomas. Oh, okay. Thomas has up. been talking My and lip locking with Sally Jr. Get it right. I'm sorry. But I'm just saying it's just really funky right now because until the secret is out, if the secret comes up, because you know it is. Yes, but what are what what are we gaining from this? Uh, is they gonna uh, once what Eric and them find out? You know, will Quinn's picture on the mantle get ripped off, and another one comes from nowhere, or somebody else be replaced? Will it be Eric Forster himself? I think it should be. Because I'll tell you, these women on this on this mantle is just not working since Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie. I'm just saying. But another thing I've been loving is at the end of the, each of the soap operas that they had the, uh, a flashback. Yes. Now, I loved it when they I showed Amber and Rick being in the car oh. and everything that went there. And with Amber being with Usher. Yeah. Mm, that was something to see. Yeah. Muscles. Yep, yep, yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. But anyway... <laughs> <sighs> and the one that I that really took me by surprise that I forgot all about was when um, Eric Forrester and Sally Spectra was on the runway, and he proposed to her. And Sa uh, Stephanie looking all simple in the background couldn't believe it. <laughs> he slipped that rock on her hand and 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 kissed Sally. Mm, that mm. was a good one. That was a good yeah. one. I almost forgot all about that one. I did. I forgot until mm -hmm. you mentioned that. Yeah. Yes. And were um, Thorne tried to save Macy and yeah. she got exploded. Yeah. You know? That was sad. Yes. I, I think I they thought they were a great couple. I think they should bring Macy back. Yeah. And well, Thorne's there, but he's just kind he's of. He's in Paris. Back. Oh, okay. I think they should bring them back. Yeah. I mean, bring some characters with some depth, some history to go with the other ones. Seasoned. Yes. All that, you know. Yeah. It's just funky. And mm. I blame you for it. Me. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Okay. Well, as we kind of touched on, um, Eric and Brooke are shocked over Ridge and Quinn's affair. That's one of the spoilers we uh, have. But who helps bring that shock? Katie. Yeah, what? Well, doesn't she have anything else? To no, do? she don't. Does she work? It doesn't look like it. She got too much money to work. And what about her son? We what? haven't seen <laughs> her son, Will, in a long time. But yet, he's supposed to be in kindergarten. Uh, does that child ever come home? He's just been in kindergarten. Usually, you can understand if a child's in boarding school and they don't come he's home. For a while, but yeah. when they go to just regular, maybe a little prestigious... <laughs> kindergarten they do come home sometime i would say but this child does not come home <laughs> poor kid anybody know about social service <laughs> if anybody knows where this child is at please let us know okay so anyway um and coco has a camera planted in her necklace to spy on Forster Fashions. Now, this is going to get that poor child in some major trouble. That's sad. She's not even going to know what's going on, but... Mm -hmm. But, you know, mm. it's all in love and war or fashion, right? And, unfortunately, you know... But you can't really totally blame Sally Jr. Because she's not totally for this because it's her sister. But it's her grand... Their grandmother is pushing the issue. Yeah, but she's old enough to say. Yeah. And she's at, she's running things, isn't she? Yes. But she's it's like a, between a rock and a hard place. She knows it's wrong, but at the same time, it's getting closer and closer to the time. CJ is going to want to know, what are they doing? Is they making progressions? And they're not going to make progressions. He's going to pull the rug off from under them. And they won't have a building. They won't have a business. So what do you do? Unfortunately, they're doing the wrong thing that is true so this concludes another episode of soap discussions thank you all for watching continue to tune in every week we'll be posting new videos um please feel free to subscribe to us on youtube we're on soapdiscussions.com we have a patreon account follow us on twitter and check us out in the near future for podcasts thanks for watching